Hello learners. So today we are going to learn VR360 renders in 3ds Max and the renderer that we will use is V-Ray 5, the latest one. So let's get started. And the scene ready for forever. And we'll do the 360 render of this thing like this, okay? We'll go in top frame and the shortcut for top frame is T. We'll activate the wireframe and then I will go in cameras. In camera slot, I'll select the video option and video physical camera. Create camera in the center of the room like this way. Click and drag the target. Once you are done with this, activate the camera, go in front frame, the shortcut for front frame is F. Give camera a particular height, it can be in the center of the room or slightly at a eye level, like this. Once we are done with this, go in perspective view. Okay. Select the camera and go in modifiers of it okay. and assign the settings for camera. These are not VR360 renders, these are basic settings to balance the lighting. So in sensor and lenses, we have focal length, make it 35. These things add good depth in the scene. Then in aperture slot, we have shutter speed. Make it 50. Scroll down in color and exposure. You see white balance. Assign neutral to it. Like this. These are the basic settings for camera after this thing we will do the render setup for vr360 render okay we'll do it high resolution go in render setup and here assign vray 5 hot fits 1 so yeah by default, the output size will keep it 2000 by 1500. Okay, this is a 2K high resolution render. Then we'll go in VRA slot. Okay, first three slots will keep it as default. In image sampler, we'll select bucket. Okay. And in bucket image sampler, we have minimum subdivisions and maximum. We'll keep it as default. Then we see noise threshold. So yeah, we'll change this to 0 0.005. Like this. We'll wait for it to load. Point zero zero five. Okay, then no need of image filter. It's all good. Okay. No image filter. Global DMC activate both. Okay. Lock noise pattern. Blue noise sampling. Both should be activated. Environment do nothing. In color mapping, add exponential. The second one. Then comes VR360 render settings. Okay, so in camera slot. Okay, over here we see the type. So change the type to sprinkle. Activate override FOV and then assign 360 over here. So now the camera will render the 360 angle of it. Okay, then we'll go in GI, okay. global illumination. 
So here we have two render engines, primary and secondary. So yeah, we'll assign primary engine as irradiance map and secondary engine as light catch. Irradiance map. Make it expert. Advance and expert. Okay. Make it expert. We'll keep the current preset high only. In light cache. Will increase the subdivisions to 1500 like this. Once we are done with this setup, we will add render elements. Okay, in render elements, we'll add V ray denoiser, V ray lighting, and V ray shadow. Once these things are done, go in camera. Shortcut for that is C. Now this one, this one, so yeah, this is the camera that we placed in the center of the room, okay, and then shift Q to render it, and this is how it gets rendered, this is VR 360 render. We'll wait for it to render and then we'll open in a particular software. And yes, the rendering is done. This is how it looks like. We are 360 render in sprinkle shape. We will save this in JPG format at a particular location. We'll select JPG. Save it. We have a particular software to open this 360 RAM. Okay, that is GoPro VR Player. Select the file and search for the render and open it in this. And this is how we can see the render of whole room like this way. Ceiling chandelier. Each and every detail we can view in this. So, this is VR 360 render. I hope you like this video guys. Do like, share and subscribe to our channel. We are coming up with more creative things. Good day.